Good evening, I'm Regina on new information tonight about the horrific mass shooting inside a Texas church during Sunday services. Officials say the gunman's mother in law has attended the church and had received threatening texts from him. Sarah Dalev has a story from Sutherland Springs, Texas. Good evening, Regina of the 26 people killed as many as 14 were children. Heartbreaking news in a grieving town. A small Texas community now searching for answers a day after a gunman opened fire on a church congregation, killing more than two dozen and wounding 20. Many of the victims' children, the youngest just 18 months old. It's just very devastating. It's very shocking that something like this has happened. Officials say 26-year-old Devin Kelly, dressed in tactical gear and armed with a semi-automatic rifle, opened fire from outside, then inside the church. He was wearing a black mask that had a white face, skull face to it. He was later confronted by an armed citizen as he fled. This Good Samaritan, our Texas hero, flagged down another uh, young man from Seguin, Texas, and, and, and jumped in his vehicle and they pursued the suspect. After a high-speed chase, it's believed the suspect committed suicide inside his vehicle where other weapons were found. Now, more is being learned about his troubled past. Kelly received a bad conduct discharge from the Air Force in 2014 and a court martial in 2012 for assaulting his spouse and child. Officials say he also sent threatening text messages to his mother-in-law who attended the church, although she was not present Sunday. There was a domestic situation going on within this family. Among the victims was 14-year-old Annabelle Pomeroy, the daughter of the church's pastor and his wife, who were out of town Sunday. Now most of our church family is gone. Our building is probably beyond repair. And the few of us that are left behind lost tragically yesterday. Now this small town left grieving the loss of so many friends and family in this tight-knit community. In Sutherland Springs, Texas, Sarah Dolliff, NBC News.